Hello my friends, welcome to another vlog. I'm all up, dressed and ready to have a day of shopping. I've just come back from Sweden with an amazing trip. With an amazing trip? <laughs> with an amazing brand on a press trip. Come back and I realized I need to sort out my autumn winter wardrobe. And there are some pieces that I wanna go out, have a look, see what there is in store and get. So that's what I'm doing today. It's a full day of shopping and then coming back home and trying to create some content because I've been slacking a little bit on Instagram and also I want to film some stuff on TikTok. Maybe I'll do that today. So I thought I'd bring you guys along in kind of a regular day in my life. Like this is what I would do. It's a working day. I need to go and get some outfits. I'm going to come back home and shoot some content. So I'm going to bring you guys along and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Kate Cardigan in the navy. I feel like you guys would basically see me live in my Kate Cardigan's autumn winter. It's like my easiest outfit to wear. It's like my go-to. Always looks so chic and I absolutely love the fit of these cardigans, you already know. So this is a navy cardigan. I'm wearing the matching bralette underneath it. And then I have these jeans on which are actually new. They're from Arquette. They're my first pair of Arquette jeans and I actually really like the fit of these. They're this really nice blue denim. And then I've got on my Chanel dad sandals because it's not that cold today so I can still wear these sandals. And they're in navy so I thought that was a nice match with the cardigan. And then I've got my little Hermes Kelly to go bag. I love brown and navy as a combination and I think this is just a really easy bag, especially for a day of shopping where all I need is my lip gloss and my card. So that is my app of the day. I will link all of these pieces down below in the description box as always. I'm gonna head off now because I really need to go. <laughs> because it's like the Mew Mew shirt colour. The cropped Mew Mew shirt. And I think this is a really nice colour. And you know what you could do? You could do like a DIY crop. But I don't think I would. I think this is quite nice. But it's giving me a You Work at Prada vibes. Yeah, it's like, it's that colour. So I'm thinking with this shirt, you could wear this jumper and like have it over the shoulders and then with some white jeans. Yeah. Even black jeans, but that one. I like this because it has the collar compared to that one. What sh which do you prefer? I prefer the small stripes. The small stripes. Yeah, actually, I think. Yeah, small stripes work better with this combo. But I like the collar. I think the collar detail's nice. Oh, this is a short trench. That's fun. What do you think of it, True? I'm not sure. I feel like longer. No, but it's supposed to be like a cropped. I think it looks nice when it's not buttoned up. I think if it's buttoned up, it's too bulky. I think it'll look good, kind of like this. It's not really giving anything. So this winter I'm trying to invest in better quality materials. So I'm getting rid of all of my synthetic jumpers unless they're like really amazing. And I want to fill my wardrobe up with good materials. So like these cashmere jumpers, they're the roll neck. Oh, 75% cashmere and 25% wool. So that's actually really good because sometimes they blend it with um, synthetic materials. Extra small. Oh, so How they're quite is big. Is that the... 175 pounds. But then these are the pieces that will last you for a long time. Okay, so I like these jumpers, but I want to check the material composition. Oh, see, this is polyester, 31%, and then it's got alpaca and wool, but I don't want, majority of it is polyester, basically. It looks very itchy as well. Yeah, so I will be avoiding these. These? Yeah. Knitted alpaca yak. could be quite this. cute. So it's 32% alpaca, 25% wool, and then 22% oh, yak wool, and then wool and then polyamide so it's not fully yeah it's unavoidable to get plastics nowadays so this cashmere jumper is without the roll neck which is what you said you prefer yeah so let me see what that so this is oh it's basically the same color but i think i might also try on the gray because i do like gray oh that's nice no that's more i think that's more versatile shall we see what the size of um, what the actual composition is though 75 percent cashmere and 25 percent wool oh my god my nails are really bad <laughs> ignore the nails it's the same as this one basically, but without the roll neck. Yeah. So I'll try that on and I also get a grey colour. So I feel like I need a white t-shirt. Because but but I want this is yeah, it looks very see-through. Yeah, also and I want it to be thicker and more oversized, so. Yeah. Uniqlo has some. And these are leggings. Do you know what I want? Split leggings. I want leggings with a split. I swear you have that already. Okay. Yeah, from Mango, but they're like really bobbled. So oh. I want to get a new pair. Mm -hmm. 
guys, look, it's my new favorite color everywhere. This is the color I said I'm gonna be wearing lots of. <laughs> it's a sign. It is, it's the next cut, it's, it's gonna be the next green. See, that was the green of like last year and now it's blue. This is very Paco Rabanne vibes, like a dupe, but I actually prefer this because you know the Paco Rabanne is actually, it doesn't have this mesh, it's just discs. Whereas this I think is more wearable. Yeah. I might try this one on actually. Is it a little bit stretchy? Yeah, it's stretchy. Oh, but with a blue knit jumper. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but we have like to get one. like a, but I think like a bigger and, and bigger knit jumper. These are nice black ankle boots. If you guys are looking for black ankle boots, I like this kind of rounded off square toe. I think it's really flattering. And the heel height actually looks like a really nice height. And it's at a nice length. I already have black boots, but if you're looking, these are good. I'll link them below. Now I'm looking for a no logo bag. Oh, is this big... it? <laughs> I like it, let's see in the mirror. Okay guys, you know I've been raving on about how I'm looking for a no logo bag. What do you think of this one? I quite like it. It sits perfectly under the shoulder and it's a nice colour. What do you think, Drew? Nice. I like these. As a comfy, oh my god, Say look at this bag. These shoes. But I have a feeling they're not going to have my size because there's only really small sizes. But I think these are so cool for autumn, winter. I imagine with this bag. What, these size 40? Yeah, but when I wear mules, because it look, oh, I like these. Show me. They look very comfortable. They look so cool. And look, look at this bag. Wagamamas and like half of the menu is vegan, which, which is, is our favorite. really good. Yeah, so there's like no kind of vegetarian. No duck donburi. True, look at this the spicy teriyaki vegan chicken bun. The seasoned soya protein, Asian slaw, fried onion, the spicy teriyaki. We should try that. It looks good. Okay, let's, get, let's get one. I love pickles. Those pickles are really nice. So we always order Tama squid and it has the bonito flakes on it which move so it looks like it's alive. Like look at that. And they're so tasty, they're squid balls. It's gonna be really hot true. Okay, let's see if you burn your mouth. Mm. Good? Is it not hot? That looks so good. That's our favourite. Yeah, I've got the no duck donburi and they put a fake egg in there i don't know what that's made I out of sauce and then how's that tofu and this is the chicken look how good that looks yeah does it taste like real chicken mm. Mm. she said mm. <laughs> it didn't taste like chicken but it's nice that's so cool Coconut. Coconut? Mm. Oh. Try the duck, the fake duck. Mm. Is it good? No way. Good? It's all good. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try. Be bland, but it's actually really good. It's just got the vegan katsu. That looks like a lot. Are you gonna finish that? No, I'm not gonna finish it. I put it up half. Can you try the chicken and tell me what it is? Because actually, it's like tofu and um, soy protein. Is it legit? Yeah, but I wouldn't get it again. Oh, okay, that says it all. <laughs> this is giving me Miu Miu vibes. Really? Yeah. You know, Miu Miu skirt, it just has oh. that structure. The edge. Give me that vibe. It's very um difficult to get on and off. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's we're getting there. Okay. Oh no. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try it on a it was, it's not a coat. It like a cape. Oh it's a cape. I think it's cool, but not with this, what I'm wearing now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can take your jumper off. So 
So guys, back in the car, I only bought one thing from our cat and that was Socks. Socks for my uh, Chanel loafers because it's loafer season. I didn't buy anything, but I think it was a useful day for shopping because I kind of got an idea of what I want. The cashmere jumpers in our kit, I love the material and I love how they felt, but the fit wasn't for me. Like I wanted the jumper to be more oversized and then the other roll neck one looked like I had a cast over my neck. Like it looked like I had something wrong with my neck. So it's a struggle finding nice fitting jumpers, but with good quality materials because the blue jumper I tried on Arca, I really liked. I love the fit of it. I love the color, but then it had polyamide in it, like a blend of polyamide. So it's proving to be quite difficult to find materials that are good, but in a good, nice shape. You get there. For a good price. Cause like, for example, this is like perfect. 100% cashmere, beautiful shape, but it is very expensive. So it's a bit of a struggle. And I think we might have to compromise in some cases, like that blue jumper is on my mind. So I might have to get it. We're on our way now to go to Mango because I do want to check out some of the things that I've seen online in store. We're gonna go Mango and then we'll also probably get some bubble tea. Yeah. Oh, I also, I really liked that. Well, not really liked because I didn't get it. I liked that cos thing that I tried on, but I wasn't sure. I think with the jeans, I couldn't tell. I, I just, I feel like I need to maybe buy it and try it on at home with different things that I have. Because I wasn't sure, but I thought it was a really cool piece. So I might be getting that online, but just not sure how I would style it. So I need to think about that before buying. I'm really trying not to impulse buy. The old Nuri would have just bought that and thought, oh, I'll figure it out later. But no, the new Nuri is gonna go home and think about what she could wear it with and if it is actually worth getting, if I will wear it. I'm gonna link everything that I showed you guys. If I find, find it online, I'll link it all down below. So if you like anything, you can get it for yourself. We're in Tian Tian in Canary Wolf, and I love this store. Is this a snack? Just so Asian, I love it. Look, purple sweet potato. That's what your mum has. Is it a snack? I think so. Bean curd, hot and spicy strips. These are all like um, vegetarian, like right? Bean jer curd. Jerky, yeah. Should we try that? Let's get that one was, of these. This looks like beef. Sichuan spicy bean curd. Oh. No, it's all ve like vegetarian vegan. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yeah, let's get one. Should we get one? Good to try these. We love garlic and I think this is corn, so oh. garlic corn. So far looking very interesting. Yeah, I've got a nice mix. We should get something sweet. Yeah, but you get white rabbit. That's what I had growing up. <laughs> no, I don't up. like that. You don't like that? Look, this is, oh look. They're like, <laughs> they pop 4D, it says, Orange flavor gum candy. We're just checking if there's gelatine in it. My chubba chubs. Yeah. I swear that's the. That's the lollipop. Yeah. Should we get the grape flavor? Yeah, get the grape flavor. Look, they sell frozen durian. Should we try? No. <laughs> I've had it before. Oh, oh that's, I, feel, I feel like this is what you you like that taro pearls and coconut cream. Yeah, maybe. Okay guys, so I'm back home now and basically shooting some pictures for my Instagram. So I thought I'd show you guys the behind the scenes and kind of the setup and how we shoot content. So I'm wearing another Kate cardigan. I told you, these are my favorite cardigans in the whole world. And I wanna shoot this look. It was basically in the last vlog. I think there's a vlog already up where I wore this outfit with the Frankie shop trousers and this top. And I wanna try and do this really cool picture where you swipe and it's basically more of me, but it's all one long picture. We've not done something like that before, but we're gonna try. And I'm gonna be shooting on my new beautiful sofa, which I absolutely love. And I thought it would be nice to do a little photo shoot here in my office. So this is the outfit quickly. Frankie shop trousers. I just put these shoes on, but I'm not sure if you're gonna see my feet. Look, this is real BTS. Those are my socks on the floor. These Bottega heels. These are Frankie Shop trousers, Totem, and then Kate. This is the setup and the mess. I was just doing a try on of some outfits that I have to shoot a campaign for. So my office is very messy at the moment. This is the new camera. Chu has a new camera, by the way. I will tell him to link it below. What is it, True? the new camera? Canon R3. Canon R3, and he really loves it. I love it. He's very happy with it. So you guys can go on my Instagram and see what the pictures look like because they're 
been taken using this new camera. Then we have this light. This is the light we use for filming. It really lights up the whole room because right now the light here is not on. This is the only light we have. Look how dark it is. Look, look at that. And then that's the light. So this is the light we use. We'll link that below as well. I'm gonna get true to link it below. And this is true behind the scenes wearing my Drew slippers. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just came out of the shower and thought I would sit down and have a little chat with you after my very long but productive day. We didn't actually end up getting any images from that little shoot segment you saw. It didn't translate well on the laptop. Like when I looked at the laptop, it was like the lighting and things like that, it wasn't what I wanted, which actually happens a lot more than you would think. Like we have an idea, we shoot the content and then it's not actually what we want so we have to shoot again so I'm gonna have to come up with a different idea for this outfit because I do really want to shoot it but it might have to be like an outdoors one guys look how long my hair has gotten I don't know if I should cut it or let it grow I was kind of growing it out but now when I see pictures of myself with a bob I kind of want a bob please help me and let me know if I should cut my hair or should I get a fringe I'm thinking about getting a fringe I'm not sure what to do my hair Anyway, going off tangent as always, but I basically wanted to sit down and talk through a new skincare product that I've been using. I did speak about it briefly in my last London vlog when I was unboxing my second package of the Skin In Me Daily Doser. So I've been using it for over a month now and I've been really enjoying it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. This part of the video is sponsored by Skin In Me. However, like I've been using this product for over a month now and I can tell you about my results. So. Skin and Me, if you don't know, is a brand that creates skincare products personalized and tailored to your skin. And they also contain active ingredients that you can't get over the counter. So my main goal for this was to improve my skin texture. I essentially wanted smoother and more even skin. So what I had to do was sign up on the Skin and Me website, which is really easy and quick. And then you do an online consultation where you answer some questions about your skin. And then you also put in what your main skin goals are. So you upload three pictures without any makeup on. And then the products are designed by dermatologists. So you get expert care without the wait time. They tailor the product specifically for what your skin goal. And then it gets sent to you in this daily doser. And it's really convenient because it comes in this packaging so it fits through the letterbox which means you don't get any missed deliveries and all the product you need is in this little daily doser so this is a month worth of product and how you use it is you twist the product until you hear a click and the right amount comes out so every evening that's the amount you use and it's great because it means there's no wastage and then you also don't have to worry about how much of the product you need to use i've been using this for over a month now and i've actually seen a difference in my skin i feel like i'm definitely getting that one step closer to my skin goals and i'm really excited to just continue using the product so that my skin can get even more glowier smoother and just a texture to be the best that it can be so if you guys are interested i do have a discount code for you the code is nuri yt which means you can get your first month of daily doser for three pound fifty instead of 24.99 i will leave all the links and the discount code in the description box down below so check that out if you're interested so i'm gonna apply my daily doser now i'll show you guys how easy it is to use hear that click that means it's done and then you get the product out and then you just apply it on your skin Can you see how it's just kind of gone into my skin seamlessly? It's not a product that you really need to work in. And then after this, I'll apply a moisturizer, but you only need to apply moisturizer if you need it. I have dry skin, so I like to apply moisturizer, but it's not something that's essential. You can kind of just go to bed with the product on and that's done. Like, look how quick that was. I love a really simple, quick, effective skincare routine. And with this, you just keep your skincare really simple, wash, cleanse your face, and then apply this and you're essentially done. I'm gonna head off to bed now, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hello, guys. We thought we'd start today's vlog with a mukbang of what we got from Tian Tian because we bought some interesting things. Oh no, should we try the drink first? Yeah, let's, to have, wash. Drink. let's have a drink. We have a glass of ice. True has his hood on because he couldn't bother to do his hair, guys. So I've got the chub chubs. Wait, chub chubs. chubs. Don't even know if you guys can see this. Yeah, you can. Okay, it's the grape flavor. It's actually good to be put in a glass because I didn't know it was actually purple. 
Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Tastes like grape jelly. Right, so first one, purple sweet potato. Going in the theme of purple. Oh, so it's literally just like... A ball of purple sweet potato. Wait, wait. Oh, it literally the ingredients is purple sweet potato, 93.5% and then sugar. <laughs> okay, ready? It's just sweet potato. Mmm. Mmm. My mum would love that. Yeah, your mum would. So she she like she mm. likes that in the barbecue. Yeah, that's really nice. We swapped ties by the way, guys. If you couldn't. <laughs> no. Don't have another one, no, because we have so many snacks. You can just you have to save this space. Wait, yeah. let's weigh that one. I give that one maybe like a nine out of ten for how close it is to actually what I ate. I would give that an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. Because I don't, I wouldn't buy it again. I would. I'd, Really? Mm. I would just get sweet potato, purple sweet potato in the oven. That's too long. But okay. if you want a snack version, that's perfect. I think you should get one for your mum. Yeah. She would like that. Right, let's do something savoury. We really are going on the theme of purple. Yeah. Can you show the screen what this one is? I can't It's a corn, like sweet corn crisp. Corn! <laughs> a big <laughs> lump of corn. It's got <laughs> juice, it's got <laughs> juice. Wait, wait, I just need to read what it is. We need to tell the people what it is. It's corn. This is Calbee Grill a Corn Sticks. Garlic flavour. It's a garlic flavour corn. Can I have some? This is really nice. Stop getting distracted. It's corn. A big lump of corn. Wait, let's do a smell test. It's like oh, it smells very garlicky. The shape is like Cheetos. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. Mm. Very good. That's so satisfying. It's mm. really light and airy. So it reminds me of Cheetos in terms of the texture and the yeah. shape and the crunchiness. But it's really good. The garlic flavour is strong. Like it's really Do you know what it reminds me of? You know sometimes when you cook and you cook garlic and then I always have the leftover garlic that's in the pan. Oh. The cooked garlic. This is what it tastes like, just okay. garlic. Move on. Mm. I like that one. Get that again. Give that an 8 out of 10. I'll give that a 9. Because I love garlic. Yeah, you're a garlic person. So this is like the grape sweets and then strawberry sweets. But they actually look like... Yeah, we'll open it up. We'll show see. the actual individual, yeah. yeah I'm you're going to have to show it the actual piece because they look so... That's why I picked it up because it looks like an actual... Like I love the design. It smells Ooh. like acetone. That's not good. Oh my god, yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, show the, show the camera the, the sweets. Okay, we don't know what we're putting in our bodies, <laughs> but it's probably chemicals and well, the sugar. Ingredient, the ingredients look like the same ingredient in this as like normal Wait. candy. There we go. So this is the grape one. This is the strawberry one. The grape one smells like acetone. Yeah, okay, should we like, try the strawberry first? No, we should try the strawberry first, okay? okay? Mm. I like the texture. It's vegan, right? Mm-hmm. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. I like the texture of it, but... Like, the feel of it is always, like... It's squidgy. Plushy. Yeah. Feels like, you know, those toys that kids have. Yeah. Oh, my God. Feels so good, but you can't eat it, because... Oh, my God, yeah, you're right. Like, um... A plush, what's plushy? Time? What is it called? Squishmallows. Okay, our expert... Uh, our expert children behind uh, the camera watching us... Said it's squish... They're watching this in like with their mouths open. <laughs> <laughs> this is like torture. We're gonna oh. let them try it afterwards. Mm. Oh. Oh. Tastes like grapes. Tastes like chemicals. <laughs> Tastes like grapes. I don't really like it. I mean, I'd, I'd give that like a six out of ten. Yeah, like I, I would finish the packet if I wanted candy, but yeah. I'd get other candy. It's like really artificial and sickly. Okay, this one. So this is a. Soybean, Sichuan mild spicy bean curd. So I think this is this is supposed to be like a beef jerky, but obviously a vegetarian version. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. oh. So you can see like all the oils and the sauce in there. I thought it, it was dry. Yeah, same. What's the ingredients? Wait, are you supposed to cook this? I think it's fine. Wait, can I read what it, like it's, it says? It's bean curd. You you can eat. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. It's cooked. It looks like a dry it's snack. Dry, but this is like wet. Yeah. Okay. You have it first. Goodbye. That that does not look the same. Yeah. Are you supposed to cook it? It's what does it taste like? I can't tell. Citron, pepper. Okay, let me try. <coughs> 
Oh, it says ready to eat. Oh. So, yes. I guess this is what it is. <laughs> the girls are saying it smells. It smells like cat food, like wet cat food. Don't say that. Oh. Hey guys, that was a zero. Especially after the girl said it smells like wet cat food. Um, I give it a three, like. Three. <laughs> if I was craving something spicy and moist and squidgy and. Do you know? I think it'd be nice if you cooked it. Yeah. Like maybe. fried it, not fry it, but like in the pan. Yeah. Then we have. I need to rinse the chemicals with more chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> this one is basically it's like the you know the panda bear version. Or what are they called? Panda Express? No. No, Panda. But you know what? But this was like, it's a bear. It's a different one. So I wanted to get it because it looked cute. Can you show the camera truth? Oh, it's a little bear. Yeah, they just printed the bear on it. You have to bite it. Can you see this? Oh. Can you show them the inside? Yeah, just the inside. It's nice. I hope this is more substantial. I think the other one is softer, you know the other brand. This is more biscuity. What would you rate this? 9 out of 10. It's a classic. Mm, I'll do 7. Next up, we've got Dry King Pop It. Oh, this is from Hong Kong. Now this one we have already opened. As you can see. <laughs> I couldn't contain myself. <laughs> and a lot of this. Did you? Yeah. It's quite addictive. It's really addictive. Well, look. It packaging just, is very excessive for yeah. what it is. It's a cola popping artificial sweet. When they label artificially flavoured, that means they don't care what's in it. It's just, you know also, it's, what I was wondering, yeah, what happens if it goes in your eye? Because your eye is wet because it's water that activates it. That would really hurt, I think. And if anything goes in your eyes, it will hurt. What? You could become blind because people have tried it before, they become blind. Oh. Our expert researcher has said that you can become blind if you put this in your eye. I'll show you guys what's in it. So there's like sugar and then like some stuff. It's not sugar true, it's all just... No, there's sugar in it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <gasps> what happened? It went in my eye. Because I did this and then it just <laughs> popped out of my mouth. Into my hand, into my eye. <laughs> can you go near the screen so you can hear the sound it makes in your mouth? That's my favourite. Easy to eat and it's just loads That's of sugar. Satisfying. Almost made you blind. Okay, this is the last thing. It's a high chew, chewing gum. What's this? Apple, green apple flavour. Yeah, when did we first try this? I haven't had it in Thailand. Yeah. And then I haven't had it for like five years. So it's naturally and artificially flavoured. Mm. Mm. So that's fine. The flavours are nice. Mm. I like that one. 10 out of 10. 10. 10. Satisfying. Chewy. Nice flavour. Because like, you know chewing gum? Mmm. How do you get the best bits at the beginning? But this one you can get the best bits and swallow it. Oh my god. It. That is a perfect explanation. Thank you. It is like the best part of a chewing gum. Like basically, you're giving me apple flavored chewing gum. Mm. And you can just swallow it. This should be your job. I know. Describing. You're really good at 10 it. 10 out of 10. Love that. Well, yeah, really nice. Mm. I actually found more snacks upstairs. So, True went to Tian Tian Market. By the way, this is the new. We got this from the new one in Canary Wharf. No. Yeah. So <laughs> We got all of these things from the Tian Tian and Canary Wharf, which is so, such a nice store. We vlogged it yesterday. True actually went before without me. And so these are the snacks that he bought. We haven't tried yet. Well, we've tried this one. No, this... I've never tried that one before. Oh, we haven't. No, we haven't. That's different to the one that my mum got It's from. tempura seaweed. So it's like crunchy seaweed. Okay, let's try this one first. <gasps> I'm gonna love this, I know. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is... Shh. Mm. This. The flavour is... Mm. 11 out of 10. Oh, it's sesame, yeah. Best thing ever. The last one before the camera dies. It could die anytime soon, but this is a salt egg potato chip. Salted egg yolk flavour. The texture of the crisp is like wet, like moist. Yeah. It's not like a dry, crunchy. But it is crunch. I can't explain it. When you eat chips, sometimes it can hurt the roof of your mouth. Yeah, it's like a soft, but, but it's still like crunchy. A, a soft, crunchy. The flavour is really nice. Mm. This is 12 out of 10. I think yeah. this is my favourite crisp. But, yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't taste like salted egg yolk. It tastes like a version of what's that brand? The sweet chili crisps. Sensations. Yeah, sensations. But oh, it's yeah. diff like the softer. Softer sensations. Yeah, and but like it's more satisfying. I don't even have to end the video because it's flashing. So okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And yeah, whatever next. What are we gonna do next? I don't know, but uh, we'll bring you guys along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd vlog today just a little bit because I'm going to my first show for London Fashion Week. I've actually been taking it really easy and chill this London Fashion Week. Like I've basically not been going to any of the shows um, just because I just feel really exhausted and tired and I just feel like I need a break and yeah. But this is the only show that I'm going to for London Fashion Week and this is the Regina Poe show and I'm going with Instagram meta so they basically emailed me to say they wanted to take me to the show so who am I to say no to Instagram um so I'm dressed in the Regina Poe outfit I'll show you the full outfit when we get out of the car but I thought I'd just say hello and this is the most London Fashion Week content you guys will get because yeah I'm just tired <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry there should be Paris Fashion Week content yeah which is like next week right next next week yeah but and you know so I, was, not ready. I was even thinking in the car like do i even want to go to paris <laughs> i'm just i don't know i just i feel like i don't know how people do fashion week like the whole set of new york london milan paris because it's going to need a whole team yeah that. but who do do it by themselves like i rate people who do it but i'm just tired i think we've also got so many projects going on at the same time and obviously that takes priority because for london fashion week or all the fashion weeks you don't really get paid to attend shows some of them you do if the brand sponsors you but you don't really get paid to go fashion week so it's more of an expense from your end and obviously when i have jobs coming in that are paying me those will overtake fashion week as much as i love fashion week so yeah i think that's probably what it is like we've just had so many projects which i'm grateful for um so i'm just taking it easy with fashion week so this is the only one really that i'm going to and i'm not mad about it <laughs> <laughs> Came back from the show the show was amazing there are so many things that i want on my list like the dresses are stunning there's this mesh yellow one like off the shoulder i'm gonna insert a picture that is on my wish list so stunning i want to get a shot of this outfit um because it's a really cool outfit i'm in bank and we're gonna just shoot here it's quite quiet it's very hot i had to walk down 27 flights of stairs from the show because basically there was only four lifts and there was a huge crowd so i walked down the exit escape and that was probably the worst mistake I made because in my heels I had to walk down 27 flights of stairs like I'm sweating so much Can you try the same thing the with the flash? The lighting is not good guys, the lighting yeah. is not great We're having the salad project because I'm starving It's... <clears throat> it's 2 o'clock It's 2 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat today I'm really hungry we're having the salad project and our vegetarian diet is going strong. We have incorporated fish into our vegetarian diet. We're pescatarian, I pescatarian. guess. Pescatarian. But yeah. I think we're trying to have as much veggie options as possible. It's only fish when it's like there's not really mu many other options. So I have the cauliflower salad. But we actually parked exact. exact no, this is not the exact spot, spot true. I, I, I'm it's pretty not, sure it is. It's not. I remember. This was when you asked if I was going to propose to you. I said no. Look at us now. It's only gone really cold. It's like, freezing out now. Of nowhere. This yeah. is called the duvet coat. Oh, the camera's time. I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And we hope you see the next one. We're just going to eat the salad to go home and do some, some work. work. It's oh. a working weekend. Yeah. Take care, guys. Peace Bye. out. Bye.